Morning folks. Uh, I thought I was talk too much, mate. Overdid the singing at my son's birthday party, 49th birthday party on Saturday. <coughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm a bit hoarse today. Uh, right, I've, I've uh, just sewed a piece of uh, watercolour paper, it's a little bit bouncy. I've knocked it in with these uh, the strips of masking tape and I've just gone over it with a a wash of uh, raw uh, burnt sienna and uh, diluted with uh, some uh, PVA glue diluted. Right, so we've got cadmium yellow, uh, yellow ochre, cadmium red, ultramarine and here are these two colours we've got, paint grey and white, so I don't include them as a colour. <coughs> so I've got the three primaries, but I don't know what you call this, but tertiary. Uh, anyway, I, I'll, I'll make up a, a, a thing as we go along, a, a painting with a knife. Uh, they seem to be quite popular knife paintings. Right, okay, so we want a sky, so let's get a bit of, bit of, bit of white now. I'll try not to mix the colours too much. Uh, and I've got some titanium white, Griffin and ordinary Cotman. Uh, just, just, just punk some paint on. It's quite a wasteful way of painting, but uh, it's very satisfying. I don't cut through. The knives, beware, they over a lot, with a lot of use, they become very, very sharp. You're going to wipe the, the, the knife on the towel and you've gone through your finger. It is really, this one is deadly. The size of this, I don't know, this is about 12 by 10. <coughs> oh, yeah. My watercolour uh, cab cadmium yellow light from Jackson's is on the floor. Uh, oh, this is a measurer. So I'll, I'll measure the the overall size. It's, a, it's about eleven by eleven by nine inches. That is. Right, as we come down to the horizon, we'll. We'll uh, add some lighter blue, lighter colour. Not as good as MDF to uh, use because it's got a, a pitted surface, eh? the Fabriano watercolour paper. It's got a sort of machined look about it, but we'll. Uh, But it's, it's good to keep your failures because you can use them for acrylic or oil painting. But with uh, oil, you do have to really prime the board, make it uh, oil proof. Otherwise, it'll just so the oil will soak out and end up the other side of the paper and there's no guarantee that it, it will last because these papers, these cheaper papers have got uh, uh, probably some uh, cellulose in and, and acid Hopefully this will just be the, the hardest bit. 
for the lengthiest bit to paint because you're covering such a wide a wide area. Oh yeah, just filling in the uh, the holes. That's probably the only one I'll do today. I've got to go to the uh, surgery and get my my arm sorted out. Uh, I took all the skin off of that. I just slid off. Uh, but it's getting better now. So it's been nearly two weeks. Just having fun on our bikes with my mates. Average age probably about 74. Uh, we do have some fun though. Just put a bit of Oh, I've got crap in my fingers now. Just put a line of clouds in. Sort of sky you'll see everywhere. I won't be able to do too much mucking about with this because as you can see it's, it'll take the surface off and you'll just see the burnt sienna underneath. Well that's not a bad thing. Like a lot of oil paintings, they let the uh, ground colour sh show through. I might go for a meadow, a meadow, rather than a sea picture. Sea pictures are lovely to do, but I like doing meadows and things, but the meadows are easy with a brush. Pressing the paints into the paper. Well, I hope you had a good weekend, folks. I did. Went to a wonderful afternoon at a really top golf, golf course in, in South London, or oh, Surrey, North Surrey, Kingswood Golf Club. Um, some dear friends of ours had babies, and it was a uh, not a wetting the head of the baby, but introducing the babies to them to the world. Uh, it was lovely, you know, and we went with the, the four of us went to join, uh, and the, the young lady who had the baby uh, had to all her made loads of friends in the prenatal clinic and afterwards, but they George we all joined together. So there's all these lovely babies, and ah, uh, oh, it was just, just, just glorious. And the nice thing was that the uh, the father got in his knee and proposed to his wife, the wife, which was lovely. It was a joy, joy eye in the house. It was a wonderful afternoon, and the two babies that we were. Familiar well, getting uh, we know the parents that were absolutely beautiful. One's three months old, I think the other's nine months, but they're absolutely beautiful. So, a very happy day after a friend sort of dying at a table in one of our pubs on Tuesday. The, uh, okay, well, that's that's sort of possible. Right, now then, we want to mix some colours, we want to mix some greens. Now, I, no greens, I don't use greens if I can go out and help it. Sometimes, it depends on what painting is, but... Um, you can make lovely range of greens with uh, red, yellow, or yellow and blue. Or you can shortcut it by adding a paint spray to the yellow. Uh, but I like a bit of red, a bit of blue. And a load of yellow. Look, I've got all this lovely colour now. 
good realistic sort of green so let's uh, Going to let some air through your trees. Bit more blue in it. Bit of shadow. Get some red stuff, some of that red, red, ready green in there. Just add a bit of variety. You can see it's going to be very wasteful if I mix all those three colours and I haven't used much of them. But I've got to go to the clinic by about half past eleven, it's down the road and naturally I'll ride my bike. I love being on my bike, even if I fall off occasionally. Now what happened was that uh, there's a, a width restriction barrier on the River Wandle to stop motorcyclists getting on. Um, and the barrier is quite new. Uh, it's got a well. It's got, it's got sort of buffers either side with restrictors, and they're they're, they're steel, stainless steel. Well, it looks like stainless steel. And we take great pride in riding our bikes through through the barrier. But me, well, I, I didn't get that far. I. I hit the corner of the buffer and uh, that's how I damaged my arm. Okay, so let's just put a little bit, let's have a bit of variety in there. Well, oh, just a little bit of, bit of red with all those greens. Don't worry about putting on thick, it's, it's lovely. We just got the nice thick surface of paint. Right, okay, now. Uh, uh, let's get a, get a surface on there now. I mean, on, the, on here. This is a, as simple as I can make it. Just uh, <coughs> put 
putting some uh, texture in the uh, in the base of this. I might put a bond in, be a bit in that. But Uh, right, so we're going to have to go down there though, because that's the tape. Okay. Right, uh, let's uh, put it all in the light. Nearly. So it's my finger then. Oh, this is a bit of a pond in there, so it's for shortcut the green, we want a darker, darker green. Bit of, bit of red. Now that's just on the bottom of the picture there, on the, on the masking tape. Let's uh, put a bit of light on here. Well, now that's as simple as you can get, isn't it? So we'll call it a simple uh, introduction to oil painting, something like that. Uh, right, so I'm going to take this off. I'll, I'll uh, put it back because I will probably do another one later on. The, the paint won't dry that quick. So let's take, take this off. Oops. Get that bit off. It might be that the that the paint's got underneath the, the tape. Well, there we are. Very simple one, mostly sky. Um, if I, I might have a mount that would fit that. I probably not. Play. Well, there, there, there is a very simple one, sky study. Something like that, but just an introduction to knife painting. 
uh, there's not much can be said that's other than prime your paper and add a colour if you want so that you can leave some of it shining through of the, the ground colour that is that's just um, and with a little brush you can put in some figures going across across the field or go along the tree line <coughs> uh, but I think if anything it's, it, you'll have more luck painting on a much larger size than that I just had a bit of watercolour paper that I, 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 I'd scrapped so I'm using it for this uh, but I hope you get something from this one folks I've got an array of uh, painting knives look, look at that one I, I, I use that as a trail to, if I make it mixing a gesso um, that one easy to take the paint off just go, get your craft knife and pull the uh, the, this knife through under the sharp edge of the craft knife and it just peel off same with that one that's a little bit loose or is it no it's not so that one this is my my, my lovely paint one uh, I've got this one with a square end you need a steady hand for that uh, just uh, the next one up from from that one there we are, a uh, couple more, uh, that's a palette knife, scrape off the paint, uh, a, a, a little one, a little, sorry, a little trail, with fiddly bits, and I've got another couple under here, or another three actually, uh, got that one, I don't use that one, really. I, I collected them, that, that I've used, that's quite a nice one, one of those tulipy type brushes, uh, uh, knives, and this is my favourite one for scraping off the palette. Most of these are Winsor & Newton, they're all good quality, don't get, if you do this, don't get uh, chromium plated knives, they're horrible. These are beautiful flexibility, they last a lifetime. So there we are. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope my voice will get better for you later. As I talk. Right. Bye-bye.